Celebrities are some of the most well-known people in the entire world. Over the years, we've seen many of them start majorly successful businesses and some that didn't turn out so well. From The Rock starting his own energy drink to Drake investing into a fried chicken chain. Today, I'll be testing some of the biggest celebrity products to see if they actually live up to the hype or if their success is just driven by the celebrity's name. After testing each product, I'll be placing them on a tier list from S being the best all the way down to F being the worst. Let's get started. First product product we have is from T-Pain, who is a legend in the music industry. He has so many banger songs like Buy You A Drink, Bartender, I'm Sprung. He just definitely carried music in that time era. Everyone knows T-Pain for his auto-tune, aka the T-Pain effect, and he came out with a mic that makes you sound like him. You can record your voice and then hit the T-Pain effect, and it auto-tunes your voice like him. I think so far the branding of it is really sick. That would definitely catch my eye. And I'm not gonna lie, it was sold out. We had to buy it from eBay, so I I think it's doing good in sales. It says you could choose from three original beats. You got three plus minutes of recording time. You got the playback, built-in speaker, USB, all that stuff. So we're gonna get this bad boy open and I'm gonna sing a T-Pain hit. So we got the T-Pain mic out and we're gonna press this T-Pain effect button to see what it does. Hey. Hey. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, this your homeboy T-Pain. <laughs> you can sound just like me with the T-Pain effect. That was sick. I pressed the record button. Then when I'm done, I hit T-Pain effect. And it should sound like him. Gotta get my vocals right here. Baby girl, what's your name? Let me talk to you. Let me buy you a drink. I'm T-Pain. You know me. <laughs> All right. Dude, let's see if it actually sounds like T-Pain. Here we go. Baby girl, what's your name? Let me talk to you. Let me buy you a drink. I'm T-Pain. You know me. Me. Bro, what is... Hold up, hold up. Did that sound like T-Pain? It did. Low no, key, right? like you were better though, for real. That's what I'm saying. Like, without the auto-tune, I don't need that. Except Going Live had all the auto-tune. <laughs> but this is sick. I actually just learned that this came out in 2011. So maybe they're not even distributing them anymore, which is why it was hard to find. I think I got a good rating for this for sure. I think I got a good rating for this for sure. All right, let's go. All right, we got my boy T-Pain. And this product came out in 2011. And they were selling these for 40 bucks, which is not bad. But we had to buy it resell for... 150 bucks for a product in 2011 this was a banger this was s tier but if we're talking 2023 i don't think the quality of it is up to par but i mean i bet if he came out with another one this year it'd be crazy right now this product is a b tier it's definitely something you could have fun with your friends with you know but i don't see this lasting a very long time i love t-pain and i respect him the next product we have is from the man the myth the legend Dwayne the rock johnson and he actually came out with his own energy drink called zoa now based off the branding i'll already it's very clean and it has zero sugar like G Fuel if you guys want to cop some sugar you already know that's my energy drink of choice but I've never seen a white peach flavored energy drink and I'm a huge fan of white peach so Zoa actually broke a hundred million dollars in retail sales in 2022 which is huge and I've never tried it I've actually never even seen it in stores so I'm really excited to see what this tastes like and you know how I said we're on the theme of singing right it's about drive it's about power we stay hungry we devour put in the work <laughs> I need the T-Pain mic for that one bro I need the auto-tune Oh, bro. This literally smells like peach iced tea. Here we go. Oh, that's not bad. Contains no fruit juice, zero preservatives, zero artificial flavors, and zero synthetic colors. It's actually really good. I think I know where this goes on the tier list for sure. All right, Mr. Dwayne, you must have thought you're going in an S tier, but you're going. A tier. You want to know why? Because nothing tops Chug Rug. Chug Rug is S tier. Zoa is A tier. Still delicious though. Guys, you already know I've been rocking with Dragon City for a minute now, but if you didn't know, Dragon City is a free-to-play mobile game available on all devices where you can build an empire with floating islands, farms, habitats, buildings, and tons of dragons. Now, I'm not saying Dragon City is my favorite game because I have my own dragon, but I got my own dragon and it is called the Rug Dragon, which you can actually unlock by playing this game and look at how sick this dragon looks it's got blue horns it has a rug chain it's got the beautiful rug hair and my sidekick Bosley is with me it just can't get much better than that if you're wondering how to unlock the rug dragon you can get it through offers breeding island or the runner island event you can collect over a thousand dragons with unique designs elements and rarities to build your own dragon empire you can combine dragons of flames nature ice electric and many other elements to breed over a thousand awesome dragons. Hatch your eggs and feed your baby dragons to watch them evolve. Download Dragon City by clicking the link in the description or scan this QR code and you get a free starter pack with 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and 10 gems. 
If I don't see you guys rocking the rug dragon, I don't know what to say. Next up, we have Dave's Hot Chicken, and I'm not too sure if you guys have heard of him, but his name's Drake. He actually invested into this company. I personally am not really like a huge fan of Drake anyways, but he did invest a lot into Dave's Hot Chicken. You're not one a of their, fan? What do you mean? Bro, look behind you. Isn't that your painting? <laughs> okay, okay, guys. No, on the real, Drake invested into Dave's Hot Chicken. I'm not too sure if you guys have heard of it, but they sell some fire chicken tenders, chicken sandwiches. He actually tried the food once, and he said it was amazing, and after that, he became one of their top investors. I already know what Dave's tastes like. They actually opened one in San Diego, which they didn't have for a long time. So this is mild and this is what it looks like. You can just tell how spicy it gets. Dave's actually used to sell the Carolina Reaper tender where people had to sign a form just to eat it. But I think they took that out. Here we go. Okay, <laughs> it's really good. You can never go wrong with crinkle cut fries, bro. These are my type of fries. I know Dave's competition is Cane's because it's kind of similar. Chicken tenders, crinkle cut fries, and sauce. I low-key think they're neck and neck. Mac and cheese, bro. This is important. Whoa. The difference between Dave's and Cane's is Cane's has coleslaw. Dave's has kale slaw. I'd be lying if I said Drake made a mistake investing into Dave's hot chicken because they really do got some of the best tenders. So I think I know where I'm going to rank this for sure. Drizzy Drake, Dave's hot chicken. Banger investment, that's an S here. I think Dave's is here to stay. Let me know if you guys have a Dave's where you live. If not, there might be one coming soon. Next up, we got Steve-O, who's known to do the most ridiculous stunts you can possibly imagine. And he came out with an extremely hot sauce. And I'm really scared to try this, because knowing how crazy Steve-O is, I wonder how crazy he made this hot sauce. This is called a butt destroyer, and to show how much it's gonna destroy your butt, it actually comes with butt wipes. I'm really nervous to try this. Imagine it's like hotter than the one. <laughs> What's hot to Steve O, right? Comes with a warning saying this stuff is seriously effed up. I'm trying it on the same chicken tender I had earlier, and this is already hot. I already read Scorpion and Carolina oh. Reaper chili peppers. Oh. Alright, let's just do this. Oh, it's one of those. You know when you smell it and your ears start flaming? Oh. I'm not gonna put a lot, guys. I just I'm just testing the product. You know, I just wanna see if it <gasps> oh. wait, 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 that was actually an accident. There's no way I'm biting that side. Okay. Is a drop good enough? That's fine. So he actually came out with two flavors and this one isn't as hot So I'm doing the more hotter one for you guys. Here we go uh, I'm getting the sweats already <sighs> Yeah, it's hot. It's really hot. I only put a drop. <laughs> it's manageable. Okay, like you could put a drop I Actually, no, it's not bro. My face is sweating. Well, I'll see you guys later <laughs> <laughs> All right to the tier list so me personally, I'm not a huge fan of spicy stuff. It's hard for me to rank this, but in my own personal opinion, I think this is a B tier. I think the hot sauce was good, but it's just super spicy. So I think it just caters to people who love extremely hot stuff. Knowing Steve-O's fan base, I'm sure they're wild enough to try it. So I think he did a great job on the product. I think it's very on brand. And I just personally think it's B tier. Next product we have is Vita Coco Coconut Water. And the head ambassador is Rihanna, the legend. She just just had a killer performance at the Super Bowl. This is kind of on brand for her because she's from Barbados. This is a very like island drink. Coconut water is really good for you. So real quick, I just gotta get a performance in, bro. I mean, it's Rihanna. Under my umbrella, Ella, Ella, A, A, A. Under my umbrella, Ella, Ella, A, A. Hey. Bro, should I move this to S tier? <laughs> I'm excited because I've seen this in all the stores and I personally have never tried it. So assuming we shake it, coconut water. Why? Replenishes electrolytes, provides vital nutrients, hydrates with coconut goodness, and makes taste buds happy. Who wouldn't want to make their taste buds happy? Cheers. That's a hit, bro. This is already popular itself. So I think I know where this is going to go. Again, I think this is more of like a personal opinion thing because if you don't like coconut water, you wouldn't like that product. But since I do, we're going S tier. This is kind of awkward. X's. Yeah. Next up, we got my boy YG's brand, 400. And he came out with these fire shoes. They're called the Flame. And it's funny because I feel like a lot of people, when they look at me or think of FaZe Rug, they're like, ain't no way he listens to YG. But I actually love YG. Just based off the design of the shoe, I personally love it. Literally looks like a flame and it comes in two colors. I think he came out with more, but these are the two that he sent me. Red and white, you can never go wrong with matching those. Now let's test them out. I've already wore these a few times. They're fire. And I'm not just saying that because he's the homie, but let me try them on right now. I know they don't match with these but when I tell you it feels like you're walking on clouds like they're actually 
hella comfortable. Oh yeah, the bottom. It's a freaking flame. I actually took a fire IG picture showing off the bottom. I love these shoes and it's kind of hard to compare what they feel like. The comfortability of them is like Yeezys. If you really want to stand out, you wear the all red with the flame being white. <laughs> All right, so for YG, I think his shoes are an A-tier product. I think there's definitely room to do more designs and different colorways. And overall, I just think the shoe is really comfortable, sick, and I think it belongs in the A-tier. Next up, we have wrap snacks. A ton of different wrappers have their own flavors, but the ones that we were able to get our hands on are Moneybag and Rick Ross. Moneybag has dill pickle jalapeno and heat versus hot. Assuming that's spicy. Rick Ross got the rose cheddar. It actually has a message at the top. The goal is to be rich forever. I'm assuming that's Rick Ross is saying because on Moneybag it says never underestimate a hustler. I think it's very personalized to the rapper themselves, which is cool. Let's start with Moneybag's dill pickle jalapeno. Let's see what it tastes like or if I could compare it to anything. Damn, that's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. It's really salty though. Ooh, you know what that tastes like actually? The jalapeno sunflower seeds. As a former baseball player, those are my favorite. All right, heat versus hot. It's not really that spicy. Okay, <clears throat> it has a hint of spice now that it hit my throat. <clears throat> it's not bad. It's just not something that I would buy for sure. Rose cheddar. I love cheddar Pringles, so hopefully it tastes like that. That's an odd color for cheddar. Why is it pink? <laughs> What the heck? Oh, because rosé. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, okay. I just don't want it to taste like champagne. <laughs> there are so many flavors in that bite. It's like sweet, cheddary, and a hint of champagne. Bro, please try these. Like, tell me what you taste. It's not like a cheddar Pringles, I'll tell you that much. That tastes like barbecue. Even the heat versus hot, I was gonna say, kind of tasted like barbecue too, just a little bit spicier. I think I know where these are going. I think the idea of wrap snacks is cool. I just don't think it hit on the flavor. I personally don't see it promoted as much unless it's like an older product. So we'll probably be on the C tier. Just my personal opinion. Next product we got is from a legend, Tom Hanks. He recently came out with his own coffee three months ago. So it's very new. It says all profits support those who serve Hanks for our troops. Tom's Morning Magic Blend. The amazing thing about this product is that 100% of the proceeds goes to supporting our troops and their families, past and present. It's for a great cause. He's not even making a cent off of it, but he's using his publicity to help the troops out there around the world. So mad, mad respect to Tom Hanks. But now I'm really excited to see how it tastes. Nostalgic malt and cocoa. Dude, let's give it a try. Here we go. Bro, I don't know if you feel the same way, but I feel like to me, coffee all tastes the same. I think they taste different to me. Really? Yeah. I feel like I just put creamer in it, so it just <laughs> tastes exactly like the creamer. <laughs> I don't drink regular coffee. I'm trying to smell it. <laughs> oh, it smells different. It really smells like chocolate. Maybe I was wrong about what I just said. First, I'm gonna try it without any creamer to see if it tastes any different. Okay, all right, we're grabbing the creamer for sure. I just don't like coffee by itself, bro. If we were rating coffee creamers on a tier list, French vanilla is an S tier for sure. Put a decent amount in there. Nice little fork. Oh my God. Okay, that's good. When you put the French vanilla with the chocolate malt, it's fire. This is no question an S tier. I'm all about giving back. Considering that he made a product where 100% of the proceeds go to supporting troops, that's an S tier and it's delicious. Next product we have is from Dolly Parton. She actually made a product for dogs called Doggy Parton. That's a nice name. I think that works very <laughs> well with the branding of it, Dolly Doggy. This is our first dog product of the video. That's already a plus for looking out for the animals, right? Oh yeah, of course. We have Booker here. It was supposed to be for Lola, but she's not home right now. I don't I don't know if this is gonna fit him because dude this guy is chunky a dog bandana and a little shirt i have mama rug here to help me put this on so first is the bandana <laughs> he's too big bro he's too big look at no. that oh my goodness i'm gonna give him a treat after this <laughs> <laughs> it's so tight you're such a good boy Sit. let me give him a treat <laughs> he's so, he's so cute Okay, this is too tight. We definitely got to take this okay. off. Thump up. Thumbs Thumb up. Thumbs up. Then, yeah. Yeah. All right. I feel like this one's kind of hard to rank. It's very on brand with her. If you have a dog, it's something you definitely look into buying. So I think it's going A tier. Would you think so? Kind of like hard to rank this. It it's is. Like, it's I for a dog. I mean, Booker looked happy, so A tier. <laughs> Next product we have is from one of the Kardashians, Courtney Kardashian. I think she's very underrated as a Kardashian. We got Lemmy. Lemmy have it. That's how bad people want. 
on it. You know what I mean? <laughs> she basically developed a vitamin and supplement that's supposed to make you feel better in your everyday life. That's literally how it's promoted. So I want to read more into it. Nice packaging. For some reason, I thought it was going to be green. Oh, hold up. They have different ones. Let me matcha. I love matcha. Let me chill and let me focus. <laughs> well, since I'm filming a YouTube video, let me focus real quick. It's a concentration gummy, citicoline, and lion's mane. Like, what is that? I'm kind of scared. What if I'm just like... <laughs> All right, next product. <laughs> I'm like just hella locked in. So it's vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO, clinically tested, cognizant. Dude, what are all these terms? It's strawberry flavored. That's cool branding though, right? Lemmy. It's such a like hip word, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that smells so good. Please, please smell it. That oh. smells insane. All right. No, this is really good. So now that I'm focused, let me matcha real quick. Bro, Noah actually put me onto matcha. Bro, I wonder so how much. that's gonna be though. Like matcha in a gummy protein. It smells so good. Look at this. First off, look at it. Whoa, smell this. Oh my God. Yo. So these are energy B12 gummies. Courtney really did something, bro. This is really good. I love them. All right, the taste, the branding, the idea behind it, the longevity. I think Lemmy is an S tier product. I personally see this product going really far, so I think S tier is where it belongs. Next product we have is called 22 Days Nutrition, and this was created by Beyonce and her trainer, and this is all organic plant-based protein. The whole idea behind this is to create healthier habits and move towards a plant-based lifestyle, so the message is cool. The branding is really, really clean. We got vanilla. You can't go wrong with vanilla. It says, mix protein with eight ounces of your favorite non-dairy beverage and enjoy. Let's go for it. Dude, let's try it. Whoa. Okay, bro, it doesn't smell too good. <laughs> All right, got the scoop. We got almond milk. And now we shake. I'm not really into like plant-based things yet. I feel like the older I get, the more I'll get into it. Here we go. That's not bad. It tastes really healthy. I think that's the best way to put it. It's not gonna be the strong vanilla taste that you guys would probably imagine because if you're going for a healthier lifestyle, you can't have that sweetness, but it's pretty solid because it promotes a healthier lifestyle. And it was pretty good. And it's Beyonce. It's an S tier. No arguing that. Next up, we have Lady Gaga. So Gaga. That smells so good. Wow. This is called Chromatica. It's kind of hard to read it here, but it says it on the box right there, Chromatica Soap. So I just read that this is eco-friendly and it has no harsh chemicals in it, which is always a plus. Promise I'll be kind and I won't stop until that boy is mine. Dude, it's such a giant bar of soap. Like, look at this thing. Wow, I feel different already. There's nothing more I could say to that one. <laughs> good product, it's eco-friendly, and it smells good. Gaga's going under A tier. Bro, are you good? No. Like, bro, why are we doing this? Because you have to finish the video. Dude. I understand, but like, what is YouTube and what's the videos for? The entertainment. No, like, can we not talk about like the political and economic state of the world? <laughs> can we talk about like the political and economic state of the world right now? <laughs> All right, guys, the next product is co-founded by Jaden Smith. It's called Just Water. I'm sure you guys have seen this everywhere. I think this is a banger product. It's very environmental friendly. That's one thing I want to say about these celebrities starting products is a lot of them are very eco-friendly and good for the environment. I love that they're using their platform and voice and name to promote something like that. This is 100% spring water. It says, this carton is made almost entirely from plants, which pull CO2 from the air. And because the premium we pay for our spring water goes directly into improving local water infrastructure, we're actually helping the small American city we source from. And it says one carton might not save the world, but it's a start. I love it. Let's try it. Again, these names are lit, like Lemmy <laughs> and Just Water. That is just refreshing, bro. You can actually taste how good the quality is. Damn, okay, this is fire. I think we all know where this is going. S. Next product we have is from Jessica Alba, the queen, my childhood crush, and she came out with this company called Honest. I'm sure a lot of people have heard about it because this is projected to be a billion dollar company in the future. I think they were valued at 550 million and the story behind it is cool. So Jessica Alba didn't trust any brands with her everyday essentials. So she decided to make her own company called Honest, which is trustworthy and not only does she sell baby care stuff, but there's also cleaning supplies, self care, and a lot more. This is the branding. Let's check it out. 
Whoa, no way. We're committed to a more sustainable future. Check out what we're doing to help make our planet healthier plus happier. Another product that cares about our planet. It's hard not to give these S tiers. Wow, I've never seen anything like this. So you actually create your own spray. It comes with two concentrated pods. Let's go multi-surface. Let's clean the table, Noah. I guess you just open this, you toss that in there, and then you put 28 ounces of water. So I guess the pod is just gonna dissolve in the water. And it looks like it already has. Oh, never mind, it's right here. Let's wait one minute before we shake and spray. But look, you can see it starting to dissolve. No way, it's just gonna dissolve in there. That's so sick. This is a reusable microfiber cloth. I love how everything's reusable. Now we shake. There we go. Oh, it smells good. Do you smell that? Oh my God. I don't usually clean, but when I do, it's fun. <laughs> Another cool thing about Honest is that they've donated up to $25 million of products to families in need. So that's just a plus in my eyes. This is S tier for sure. Next product we have is from the queen, Vanessa Hudgens. I don't care if this tastes horrible. She's an S tier to me and will always be an S tier. The story behind this is crazy. So she dropped a product called Cali Water, which is pretty much cactus water. And this stemmed from her and her friend having a prickly pear margarita. They were discussing their shared love for earth friendly activism. This is how this came about. It has a lot of benefits to it, which is cool. It's super hydration and rare antioxidants plus digestion benefits. I didn't even know you could buy cactus water or drink cactus water so i'm excited to see how this tastes and this is another product where if you buy a can five cents gets donated to no kid hungry so another great cause here we go yo this is actually insane this is ginger and lime only four grams of sugar that's awesome bro holy we all know where this is going the lovely beautiful vanessa hudgens is getting an s tier guaranteed She's staying up there. And the last product we have is by Cardi B and Offset, but it doesn't come out till tomorrow. It's a Valentine's Day special and it's their very own McDonald's meal. So I will see you guys tomorrow to test the final product. <laughs> Cardi B and Offset dropped an exclusive meal on Valentine's Day at McDonald's called the Cardi B and Offset meal. You already know we have to get on top of it. Let's go try it out. All right. <laughs> How you doing? Hi, good, good. I'm you good. know why I'm here. The new meal, the Cardi B and Offset. Have a lot of people ordered that today? Uh, not yet. Really? Okay, yeah, okay. you're the first one. I'm the first one? Yo, that's sick. Hey guys, we got the Cardi B and Offset meal. This is sick. I heard I was the first one to order it. Yeah, you were. You were the first yeah. one. Will you share this meal with me? Can I use that marker real quick? Of course. Alright. And I think she denies it. She's like, uh nah, I'm not hungry. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're Appreciate welcome. it. Have a good one. Let's go try the Cardi B and offset meal. <laughs> so let's see what it comes with. We got some fries that I ate half of in the car. Sorry, I should have saved some for you. Share with me, did you? It's okay. We still got the apple pie for the end. This is meant to share. Then it comes with a quarter pounder with cheese. For you. Oh yeah, and then I think it comes with a plain cheeseburger. For me. You know, I like sweeties meal because she had her own sweetie sauce. Mm -hmm. She's barbecue, guys. You can never miss a barbecue. And this is orange Fanta soda and I don't know. A Coke. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to taste any different than regular McDonald's, but it's just cool that it's Cardi B and Offset. This is their go-to meal. Now let me just say the packaging, so cute. I am a sucker for packaging. Look at her nails too. They match. I honestly never tried a burger with barbecue sauce, so I'm uh, excited to see how it tastes. I'm usually a sweet and sour kind of girl. Ooh, there we go. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. A good old McDonald's burger. <laughs> it has a hint of like offset. Not gonna lie. A little bit of Cardi B? I don't taste Cardi B yet. I mm. think that one's. Oh yeah. French fries, delicious. McDonald's fries are top tier. The best. Kaylin, mm -hmm. shall we? We shall. All right, you get the smaller one. Oh. Of course. Mmm, yo. Final celebrity product. Kaylin, I'm gonna let you do the honors for this. Personally, I'm gonna go with an A because- I agree. Packaging was 10 out of 10. Meal was perfect to split. And it's McDonald's. Who doesn't like McDonald's? I think it's an A tier as well. All right, let us know if you agree with this tier list from all the products that we tested. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Make sure you are subscribed. We are close to 23 mil. 23? 23. 23. I love you guys. I'll see you all with the next video. Peace. Don't forget to download Dragon City and get my dragon. The link is in the description.